Well, hello and welcome to Income Solution. My name is Jake and today we're going to be talking about kind of finding other users of Laura Mesh or Meshtastic and some of the resources that are out there. So Canvas uh, dot app was the one I was recommending for a while. I have a link for it over on my website, but you know, you can just look it up too. Uh, it appears to be some issues. We're going to go into that uh, here in a minute, uh, but it appears that like it's just not updating or and maybe the uh, the individuals were that are responsible for that site or, you know are working on fixing it it's just some sort of bug or something or uh, a plug-in updating I, you know I run my own website and uh, I run into issues all the time and I am not a professional at any of that so sometimes it takes me a while to figure it out and so maybe they're having the same issues because it's it's obviously something their people are, you know, paying for out of their own pocket. I don't think they're making any money off of it. So, but I was made aware just the other day of a new map source that uses MQTT servers or device mesh devices, you know, your LoRa devices that are connected to Wi-Fi and to an MQ, MQTT server and it updates the location off that. I have some concerns about that for individual privacy, um, but we're going to show you what what's out there, and then in last, I'll talk some other sources for just finding people in your area. If you see here, this is the Canvas dot app slash Mestastic map, right? The unofficial map that was self-reported. If you look on the map unless I'm doing something wrong, but I've, I've heard other YouTubers say that it wasn't working, uh, which I wasn't aware. And I can see the node that I reported. So I logged in with my user account and there's the node that I reported and I can report other nodes it looks like. I just that you can't see anybody else. So maybe the individuals responsible for this site are working on it, some sort of bug, and it'll come back up. But it's still only self-reported. But this was one of the methods I was telling people to use to try to find if there's people in their area other than, you know, using the default channel and looking for other signals to pop up on your app, on your Mishtastic app. So the other day I heard about this site, which is called meshmap.net. And you can see here, I'm, I'm in the NASA view, right? And the, from outer space, looking at our wonderful planet here. And you can see the, from this view, it consolidates the nodes down to like kind of regions. You got 295 in the US, I think some are in Canada. No, well, yeah, a couple in Canada. Um, but uh, as you scroll on, you'll see how you know it breaks it down a little bit more and consolidates the numbers. Europe has got us beat out there <laughs> by quite a bit, 641. A lot of those you'll see are in, look how many just in, you know, the UK. That's 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 impressive. Now these are all MQTT nodes that are connected to a server that's reporting the location to this map. Now, I will tell you, um, there's something that concerns me about this just because, um, yeah, I, maybe for some individuals they don't care, but we'll just pick, you know, a, a, an active location. We're gonna go to Austin because Austin Mesh, if you're not familiar with his social media accounts, YouTube accounts and stuff, go check those out, especially if you're in the Texas area. Here's a node. If you see here, this node, I'm not going to click on it right here, but it will give you details about, it, it tells me that there's, and usually if you see multiple nodes in one, one location, it's because that person's used multiple devices to connect to MQTT servers. So it tells me the road and shows you the building that this individual lives in. 
it does just i'll go ahead and click it it does this individual for some reason i always end up clicking on uh <laughs> but is looks like a amateur radio operator that looks like a call sign there and it's got a t-beam connected and last uh, time it was seen on that server was you know a couple of days ago at the time of this video so that I would be a little concerned about for myself just because um, if I associated that with I'm not a big social media influencer or anything like that I'm not trying to say I am you know, I've known or I've seen other creators have, you know, random people show up to their house and that type of thing when they find out where they live. So it's just one of those worlds you live in where, you know, your your privacy is important. And yes, if someone does a work, puts the work into it, they probably figure out where who you are and where you live. They really want to. But I, I, I kind of wish there was an option there to like offset it or, you know, put it you know, out on the major road near your neighborhood or something like that, but not the exact house within the neighborhood. So that's something I would be concerned about with that, that site. And then now using MQT, I don't know if you opt in and out. We're going to learn that here in the near future as I delve into MQTT, which I've mentioned multiple times on this channel. I do personally feel just, just put this out there that MQTT is cool, but it kind of defeats the off-grid, you know, feature or nature of using lower mesh communications. You know, not only now are you using an internet service to, or internet connections to communicate with other people, but now you are potentially broadcasting, you know, your exact location of your house. So go from a decentralized fairly private method of communication to here i am this is where i live so you can see where that might be kind of an issue for some people in this community so let me know what you think put the comments down below check out our website and our other social media links which will be linked down below if you want to connect with other people we have a telegram uh, channel that's the lower mesh communications group the link will be here or actually down below and we already have almost 170 members at the time of this video so check it out and stay tuned for more great videos thanks for watching